Alright, I thought that pizza delivery challenge was pretty fun. Like I said, I was thinking about making a story out of this. So, like I said, Ben, he was 16 years old, moved out, uh, started building his own house, and bought him a, for a car for delivery. And now that he's 18, he just graduated, he just turned 18, say his birthday is about June the 10th or something like that. What is today? Oh, it's actually today. Uh, just after he turned after he graduated, he turned 18. So now that he's 18, he's out of school. He goes, he knows he has connections. Like I said, his dad's a dentist. So he becomes a dental assistant. And so his pay is higher. And like I said, Ben's a good boy. He pays his tithes. And uh, so after he pays his tithes, his yearly salary is $19,600. And being a, a, such a good Christian boy and everything like that, he's not even selfish. He just uh, he uh, he murdered his high school sweetheart. I'm sorry, not murdered, married. He married his high school sweetheart. Actually, they known each other for a long time, and, but uh, and she just got out of school, and now she's a little bit younger than uh, Ben. Sandra is gonna, what I'm gonna call her, Sandra. Uh, but he's okay. He's protected. He, she's like 17, but he's 18. Uh, so she turns 18 maybe like a couple months or next month or something like that. But they're protected from the, with the Romeo Juliet law. Okay, so that's uh, he's not messing with minors or anything like that. But he married her on his 18th birthday, and he wasted no time. He put a baby baby in her hips, and so he's already wanting to start a family and everything like that. And this is a guy being as a young man who has goals in his life and so he's starting out low on the pay wage of uh, being a dental assistant so he's sitting like I say he's not selfish he's already thinking well I have a vehicle instead of buying myself another vehicle for myself I'm going to buy one for my wife uh, about something that costs us uh, around $19,600 or a little bit less and it needs to be safer for her and for the unborn child. Uh, so he's going to keep his truck that he uh, bought, his wall uh, astronomia, astronomy or something like that. So he's going to keep that and drive it and buy his wife a, a newer car newer, safer. I don't know. It's up to you if you want to go old, big, old and safe like that or newer. And it's not going to be judged based by, oh, this one's got the most safety points, so this one automatically wins. No, I'm going to be looking at other things too, like reliability. It has to be reliable too. Uh, because Ben's smart. He's mechanical. He knows what vehicles to buy and what vehicles to stay away from. He knows what which ones are endless money pits and which ones are have good reliability, which ones are like Toyotas and uh, Hondas and Fords, not the not the, the Land Rovers, JGRs, BMWs, Mercedes, not not those, not Chryslers or anything like that. So he, he knows, I mean, if you make a replica of those vehicles, for sure it's going to have better quality. So I'm not going to judge, oh, you made a, a Jaguar replica no bad no I'm not going to be like that I'm going to be looking at the reliability score too gas mileage don't matter so much in this one because he's more into safety and reliability but we don't want something crazy like only gets like 8 miles per gallon or something like that uh, I think the rules are going to be the same as last time, except for that budget is going to be higher. So, like 0 0.1, say, uh, comfort, uh, at least that much. Uh, you know, well, it's got to be three seats now, at least three seats, because him, his wife, and his unborn child. Um, so, you can do something even like a, like a t utility truck, if you want to, so a three-seater. A regular cab. Um, 
you know, it has to have a catalytic converter and a muffler if that's an option. But if it's not an option, like if it's an older vehicle, then yeah, it, can, it just needs a muffler. Same thing with safety, you know, uh, make sure it's in the same decade as whatever car you pick. Like I said, it's, uh, it's up to you if you want to go, like, pick basic safe, basic, like, for example, basic 10 safety. You probably have to be cheaper to be to make a 2019 model, uh, something like that, you know. Uh, all wheel drive. Now this time it has to have all wheel drive because unfortunately most women today they don't know how to put a vehicle in four wheel drive. I mean most of them can't shift gear so it has to be an automatic. I mean it's, it's some of them can. I'm gonna say that Sandra can. But uh, I'm gonna say that she prefers to have an automatic. You know what, do manuals, manuals if you want to. It's all right. Do manuals, just make sure it's, do four wheel drive if you want to, but like I said, Ben's gonna be looking at four wheel drive and all wheel drive, manual and automatic. Uh, it's up to you. I'm, I'm not outlawed manuals or four wheel drive, but no front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. I mean, we want some, they live in West Virginia, same place here they just they, they need something that goes through snow and like I said Ben's going to go to work Sandra's going to be a stay at home mom but she's going to be running around going to grocery stores and stuff like that doing errands and stuff like that and Ben's going to use continue to use his old truck for uh, going to a dental assistant and just whenever him and wife and unborn child goes out together he, he takes her car. He's just safer. So, you can go truck, SUV, car. I mean, it's it's up to you. It's for you to think. Uh, you know, if you have a mid-size sedan, a small hatchback with a lot of safety, with a lot of luxury, or however much money you can put into a car, now it might be just as safe as a base model bigger SUV or truck that might be I mean I'll be looking at safety points but you know the one with the most safety points isn't necessarily going to win because I'm be looking at reliability too if I could think of any more rules I'll put them in the description below uh, but they're basically going to be the same with a little bit of modification and uh, up the budget to nineteen thousand six hundred dollars this time, and he's going to be paying for paying on that for five years. So, uh, if you like this, you know, enter. No deadline yet because you know I don't know what my work schedule is. But uh, God bless you all.